You want to switch from the regular blade system to the T-blade system or you already use the T-blade system and want some further information, this is the right video for you. Hey guys, I'm Patrick from Alpenize Freestyle. Today I am recording at the T-blade headquarters and this is T-blade tutorial number two. Let's start right into it after the intro. Alright, let's start with the differences between the regular blade system and the T-blade system. And T-blades themselves say they are faster, they are sharper and they are more lightweight. Let's talk about the first points. Faster, of course, there can be a thermal temperature difference between the plastic and the metal, but I don't think you will feel that much of a difference. But physically, technically, I guess it's faster. Sharper, the difference between T-blade and regular blades is that this steel band has already the form, the rocker and the hollow radius while you have to sharpen it into this kind of blade. But the major advantage between the T-blade system and the regular blade system is, if somebody would handle me in the scale, the weight difference because the weight difference is huge between a solid piece of steel and just a metal strip with some plastic under it. Let's check the weight of the metal of the solid piece of steel, what do we have? 117 grams, while T-blade, as you can see, the same size, 48, so that's 60, 70 grams less? Yes. <laughs> 70 grams less, yeah, a little bit overthinking. So the weight difference is enormous. For one replacement blade, you can carry three of those or nearly three of those, and on your feet, you feel this difference by a lot. Even if I have it in my hand, you can see how this is moving, the classic blade is moving way slower than the T-blade blade because this by weight points, it's nothing. So weight is a huge advantage between the T-blade system and the regular blade system. How about the durability between T-blade and regular blades? Of course, you can sharpen them, you have to exchange them, that's the one thing. The other thing is that this piece of steel will always keep its shape, while this, when it's getting blunt, you have to sharpen it, and this, even if it's getting blunt, it's keeping its shape, so I can use those blades for ages. How often do you need to exchange them? I would say if you skate nearly every day on average ice and you're not doing too many extreme things or walking around on concrete or anything, then you have to change them once a month if you skate daily. I, for example, I have 100 kilos. I skate heavily. I also skate on bad ice situations and I have to exchange them three times per winter, sometimes four times. Not too often. It's not like some people say they get blunt when you skate once with them. The only thing is if you use them on bad ice, then I would keep a used pair of blades in my pocket. So I can change to used pair of blades because on bad ice, it doesn't matter if they are new or if they are old, but they will get blunt faster on bad ice. And for good ice, always keep a sharp pair. And then you don't have to buy new runners that often if you just look a little bit for the ice quality and treat them well, but it's the same with them. So do they last longer than a regular blade system? I would say the sharpness lasts a little bit longer. What you also can do is swapping sides with the used T-blade. So if you are heavily using one side, like it's with the inline skates that the inside is used, then you change the wheels. Same with T-blade runners, it's possible. I would not say it's wrong, I would not recommend it. You have to find it out by yourself if it works, if you just swap blades. Of course you swap two T-blades and not, you know what I mean. But the absolute major advantage between T-blade and a regular runner is that you always, whenever you change your runners, you have the exact same feeling on the ice. That's by far the biggest advantage that the T-blade system has, because even if you go to the guy who sharpens your blades every time, you will always have kind of a small difference and even if robots sharpen them, they always have a little bit of difference. And those T-Blade runners, they're always exactly the same. They always feel exactly the same. They're also sharp until the heel while regular sharpeners and they're sharpening somewhere here at this point at the heel and T-Blade uh, runners are sharp everywhere and they always feel the same. And if you get used to one runner, you always have the same feeling in this runner. And if you're traveling and you're having an accident, stepping into a stone, you don't have to go to 
some strange guy who's sharpening your blades, you just exchange your blades, you always have the same feeling everywhere. And this advantage is absolutely unique. And by the way, also pretty important, T-Blade sells various versions of different shapes of runners. So you have S, M and L. S means that you have a pretty round rocker. M is a medium rocker, so a medium touch with the ice and L is pretty long. So if you're just skating around probably 400 meter tracks and just going circles, then L shape is perfect for you. And if you're a freestyler, you want it pretty motionable and you just want to have a small point touching the ice, then S is the perfect choice for you. Nine are the sharpest. I, for example, use S 11s. That's not the sharpest because I'm a heavy guy. Heavy persons don't need as much sharpness as lightweight person needs. And if you want to have something that is not too aggressive, probably to start, or if you like, like I do, those drifting skills and drifting motions and all kinds of different stops, then you would want an 18 or a 15, probably a 21. The difference is not as big as you might think it is between S9s and L21s. I tested both and they are both sharp. L21s are not blunt at all. They are still sharp. Just the radius is a little bit less and the aggressivity is a little bit less. It allows more mistakes. And between the S and L, of course, you're still able to turn. But yeah, you feel the difference, but it's not like that you can't skate anymore with L21. So it feels like you've been walking over concrete. That's definitely not true. It's just a different feel. Second point on my list. Should I switch to T-Blade? I question, many people ask me if they should switch to T-Blade or not, if this system is better for them. It completely depends on yourself. I think you should definitely try out the T-Blade system in your life once because this feeling is absolutely unique. There are people that, uh, I, I heard that from some people that said, oh no, you shouldn't switch because they break very fast and everything or heavy people shouldn't use T-Blade because if you're heavy and you're jumping then the T-Blade system might collapse or anything like that and that's total bullshit I have to say it. I have 100 kilos, I go across ramps and if you know me you know I'm heavily jumping on the ice and I never had any problems with the T-Blade system damaging. I once had the, the metal strip jumped off the runner, but that's something we'll talk about later. I prepared something for you. Is the T-Blade system cheaper than a regular blade system? To be honest, it's not. Even if I'm sponsored by T-Blade and the sales manager is standing right behind the camera, I can say it, T-Blade is not cheaper than a regular blade system because exchanging blades cost 20 bucks, sharpening five to 10 bucks, I would say and they last a little bit longer, but not as much longer as you could say that the T-Blade system is cheaper and the most skates come pre-mounted in high serial numbers with the regular blade system and a new T-Blade system is around 80 bucks complete. 80 bucks, 90 bucks, 80. 80. So T-Blade system is 80, but for that, the mounting is free. So if you want to have the T-Blade system mounted to your boot, it's free if you buy the system and just send your skate, just saying, but it's definitely not cheaper. But the difference in the feeling, it's absolutely huge. The feeling is absolutely unique. You have on T-Blade, no other blade system can give that to you. The sound is pretty unique. And it's also the only skate where you have the possibility to uh, maintain your skate by your own, by changing your blades or changing runners, get different colors, customizations. This is not possible with any other system on this planet. Price points, yes, a little bit more expensive, but not too much. But the advantages you get from T-Blade, if you like those advantages, are absolutely worth it. That's what I have to say. I'm also uh, traveling quite a lot. And when you're traveling all across Europe and something happens, you blunt your blades, you step on a stone, whatever. You always have those replacements with you. And of course you can take replacement steel, but this steel things is like, 50 euros a pair, something like that. 80 euros per pair. And this is 20 euros per pair. So if you damage them and you have one replacement with you, that's it. If you have two replacements with you, you have 160 bucks with you. And here I just have three or four pairs in my luggage and can exchange them, whatever happens. So for traveling aspects is also, yeah, you just feel better if it's that easy to exchange your blades for sure. Number three, how will the T-Blade runners feel or how will the T-Blade system feel when I skate with them the first time? For me in person, as I changed to the T-Blade system at the beginning, I was like, what the, it was 
extremely sharp, extremely precise, extremely aggressive and it really took me a few weeks to get used to it. It also was way more lightweight and I started also with the M15s by the way. And this feeling, it was different and I needed to get used to it but if I got used to it, I tried to switch back to regular blades and I just didn't want it. It was so much more fun, there were so many more things possible but to be honest, you will need some time to get used to it, but if you give this T-Blade system the time to get used to it, you will love it, as I did. By the way, if you're interested in more T-Blade content, freestyle ice skating content, everything about freestyle ice skating, feel free to subscribe to this channel. You will always be up to date and I always sometimes have T-Blade discount codes for you right on this channel, so subscribe and you won't miss it. Number four, T-Blade fails, failures, damages, breaks, Whatever, and this is not the easiest topic to talk about, but luckily I'm sitting in the T-Blade headquarters, so I got the sales manager of T-Blade, Andre, today. Andre, have a seat. And today we are talking about T-Blade failures, damages, whatever happens, because of course it can happen. The major difference between the T-Blade system and a regular runner system is that at the regular runner system we have one holder, we have one blade, sometimes a screw or just this mechanism to exchange the blade. And at the T-blade system, we have the holder, we have two pieces of stabilizer, we have the runner, we have a clip and we have yeah, 10 screws. So there's a lot more material pieces that are built together that can fail, of course. And for this, T-blade failures don't happen that often. I had it once that a metal strip jumped off the runner but yeah a few years ago T-Blade had a error in the processing in the building of those runners and they had a weak series of runners but this is over but of course it can still happen it can happen that they break in the heel area it can happen that the holders break but for people that do heavy jumps i always recommend to go for a carbon fiber holder than for a regular plastic holder because carbon fiber it is a little bit more lightweight but it's way more solid so if you're doing extreme things you should absolutely think about a carbon holder this will yeah prevent the most of the problems i have 100 kilos i'm a heavy jumper i jump on my heels i never had a failure like that i'm using carbon holders ever since but of course, errors, mistakes, whatever can always happen. And if the T-Blade system fails and you are not fully responsible for that by misusing it, then this guy, the sales manager of T-Blade, Andre Fischer, will provide and guarantee the quality of its system. So if you have any problems with the T-Blade system, get in touch with him. I will write his email address, his personal email address, by the way, down there. So for any T-Blade failures, you can get in touch with him. And also you can write him on Instagram because he's running the T-Blade Instagram channel and he will give you a free replacement if it's the responsibility of T-Blade for the failure. And if you say, okay, I a little bit misused it, but it shouldn't break, then of course, I guess it's possible to talk with him about some discounts. By the way, discounts. Should we put a discount code into this video? Okay. Okay. How much? 15%? 20? 20 is okay. 20%? 20, 20% for you. Yeah, cool. Till Sunday? That's okay. Okay, till Sunday. So 20% discount code. Let's say the discount code is Alpine Ice Freestyle 20. I'll write it down below. So till Sunday, you can save 20% on all of your orders in the T Blade online store provided by this guy. Andre, thank you very much. Emails incoming. You're welcome. Number five, how do I choose the perfect skate for me? So skate with the T-Blade system, it's still a regular ice skate. If you want to find the perfect ice skate for you, I made a tutorial about finding the perfect ice skate for you. It's popping up an info button right now or linked below. The perfect T-Blade system for you. As I said, I always recommend the carbon fiber holder because of its better durability. If you want to go for the look, then you can also go for a plastic holder. Completely depends on your style. Get whatever you like, what colors, you like and clips and stabilizers and holders that's the great thing about t-blade you can absolutely customize it to your personal taste with which runner should you start i started with m15 m15 is the middle between sml the middle is m and between 9 and 21 the middle is 15 so this is the absolute average and middle class runner and from there you can go to a longer rocker or a shorter rocker so 
L or S. You can go to sharper edges. You can go to not that sharp edges. It's the wrong word. They are sharp, but the L has a little bit smaller hollow radius than the nine. And for heavy people like I am with my close to 100 kilos, I would recommend to go for not too sharp edges. So like 18s or 21s probably to start. And for more lightweight people, you can start with 15s or 13s, but still they will feel pretty aggressive and pretty precise at the beginning. If you really don't know what you should do, go for the M15 to begin with. That's the absolute average. By the way, about finding the perfect ice skate, you can also check out my skate reviews also popping up in the info button right now. And another important question for beginners with T-Blade is which system length do I need? This is there's 256 till 300 millimeters in length. And if you buy your skate at the T-Blade online store, you absolutely don't have to worry about the system length because T-Blade will mount the correct system length anyway. But if you have any questions left, there is the email address of the sales manager of T-Blade. But if you buy it at the T-Blade online store, buy it in a configurator, choose your holder, choose your stabilizer, choose your runner, choose your laces, choose your clip, customize it however you want it, and it will be perfectly built for you. Start with the M15, you won't do anything wrong. I can promise it to you because the difference between L21 and S9s is not as big as it sounds. You can still skate with S9s and L21s, but M15 in the absolute middle, you're doing everything right. And if you're just interested in the T-Blade system length, sizes and numbers, I will link the T-Blade size chart also below. Number six, where should I buy my T-Blade skates? Of course, as I said before, buy them at the T-Blade online store. You can buy already pre-built skates on the side. You can build your own skates in the configurator. They will be built for you then. The build is completely free. If you love your old ice skate, you can also send your old ice skate to T-Blade by the T-Blade system and they will mount the T-Blade system for free to your own old ice skate. I absolutely recommend the T-Blade online store, but if you have a skate shop close to your place and they sell T-Blade skates, of course, it's also not wrong to go there to buy your skates. And if you have your T-Blade skates and you like them and it's time to exchange your runners for the first time, then I will link a video about changing runners faster in the end card right now, which contains five tips for changing them faster and also some additional personal tips that I didn't mention in this video about T-Blade. Feel free to check out my merch, give this video a like for the algorithm, feel free to follow me on Instagram. That's it for today, guys. Greetings from the headquarters of T-Blade. See ya.